realms in Age of Sigmar Scryer phase. Grab your hammer so we can clear a path through the chaos and forge our own narratives in the Age of Sigmar. Your allies through the realm gate this episode are... My name is Paul and I see a bad moon rising. <laughs> this is Eric. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shade glass. And in this episode, uh, we are going to be pioneering a new phase that lets us share our excitement about uh, the new releases and interesting things coming out of uh, Games Workshop. We're going to talk about not just, hey, hey, here's something new, it's cool, it's not cool, but how would we work with them in our hobby? Uh, maybe we like both like to convert things, uh-huh. so alternative builds, way to abuse them, to bastardize yep. them, uh, to, to take whatever the creators intended for them and flip it on its head. Exactly. Um, and we're kicking it off. Mm-hmm. With a high risk, high reward, 2019 speculation spectacular. That's right. So I should I guess I sh- that'll be the title. Spe- speculation spectacular 2019. Say that three times fast. Speculation spectacular. Speculation spectacular. Speculation spectacular. There you go. Good I feel like Spider Man. <laughs> uh, how are Spider-Man. you doing, man? Doing great. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Having kind of been looking forward to this. We we've, mm-hmm. we've talked about this for a little bit. Um, just a couple of weeks, uh, we've kind of been in a, a flurry of some new um, episodes, some new uh, recording ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, last, uh, you've, if you, when you're listening to this, you'll probably have uh, heard we put out another um, another uh, campaign phase, mm-hmm. something new we're trying uh, with Brian Orban and uh, Aaron Bostian in the wings, helping us with notes and ideas and stuff, uh, talking about uh, narrative campaigning, talking about... Uh, um, narrative events and uh, the Neo network, et cetera, and just kind of giving a space to talk about, you know, taking stuff off the pages and putting mm-hmm. it on the table. Um, and this is just a little bit different. I mean, you and I are both pretty narrative. Mm-hmm. Uh, we like to look and and what's this angle is that a lot of what's coming out of Games Workshop, the new releases, are rooted in the narrative. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not just coming out of nowhere. I mean, they're creating narrative, but they usually drop the hints in the books. They're dropping hints through different things. Yep. Um, and then, I mean, we get to play with them in more narrative ways. Yep. So that's, I mean, that's certainly a bit of our angle. Why, what are some other reasons we're kind of going down this road? Uh, cause I do this anyway, <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> what do you mean you do this? I just, I come up with ideas and then I'm like, Hey, I know this idea. Yeah. We're going to, I'm, I'm just going to talk about this in a format that's not necessarily the format that's intended for it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we uh, in some of our chats, we call those Paul speculations. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, Paul theories. Sometimes they get a big rise out of us because they seem <laughs> like quarter-cocked. Oh, yeah. And, uh, not you yeah, know, not like, even half-cocked. Like, uh, quarter-cocked. <laughs> and uh, without any fuel whatsoever, but somehow you uh, are able to uh, fuel them and get them going. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought, it, what better way to, I guess, entertain the folks out there than to give your mm-hmm. some of your speculations some more air? Yep. Um, and you know, I've got, I mean, I've got my own reasonings and I keep my, whenever I have an idea that could be probable, my, I, here's the problem. Here's where uh-huh. I think maybe you're more success. You're going to be more successful at this than I am Yep, is because I'm looking for patterns. <laughs> I'm looking for some sort of like, well, if they did this uh-huh. and they did this, then the third thing will be this. And it's never that. No, it's never because that. Because games workshop doesn't want to give us patterns. Yeah. Whereas you're, I mean, I, you're, you've got. Some sort of like I just feel like spitball. Well, like and some of it sticks. I feel like maybe you have some spiritual guidance somewhere. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Like some some specter of something talks yeah. to you. I would say my probably my best failed prediction. Okay, uh, was when we had Daughters of Cain come out. I predicted that we were going to see Decal of the Denied because of a lot of the design elements that were present. In the models that we saw, having yeah. the multiple arms, having the snake body, were also present in Decal of the Denied, which is a 5th edition metal miniature um, that was a Slanesh hero for Warhammer. So, well, you know, maybe we'll get that chance to I to would see. love to see Decal of the Denied in the upcoming, you know, Slanesh release. Yeah. So, That'd be kind of an awesome thing, and she was even mentioned in the narrative, so... So, so we're doing this because, A, all of us do this. We're all mm-hmm. speculating. We're all thinking about what could happen, what could they release, and what's next thing going to be. Absolutely. We all look at these releases and jaw drop, and mm-hmm. uh, sometimes we love them, sometimes we hate them, mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes we want to turn them into something else completely. Yep. Um, and uh, it's a little bit of a release valve, so you know, all of your crazy ideas aren't 
just going into our ears, but that everyone else gets to feel the pain. <laughs> exactly. Of this insanity. And the reward. Come and on, the there's some reward here. It's not just all about there's, pain. There's, this is not just a full well, slash podcast. Well, let's let's talk about that. We're, let's talk about that in a little bit. What our our What do you mean? Like that this is a well, skin game? Because we're not going to be doing this the same way that some of those Mamby Pamby oh, no, tinfoil no. hatters are going to do. This. Uh, <clears throat> Tom, <clears throat> Vince. Uh, this this you know yeah there's there's very low risk. Um, now I'm not sure how high our risk is going to get exactly. No, but, we've yet to determine, but there will be but, some actual. But consequences. to start off with, we're going to make a record of what our predictions are in this episode. Yep, we're going to put a point system to them. Yep. because I mean, why not? It's how do, how else do you be? How else can you keep track? Somebody's yeah. got to be right and somebody's got to be wrong. And uh, or somebody's got to be right and somebody's got to be Eric. Oh, we're still determining that. Damn, that was a <laughs> sick burn. <laughs> Uh, and so uh, throughout 2019, mm-hmm. uh, we'll be tracking when we're getting, if we're getting points, if we're racking them up. And at the end of the year, we'll come up with something uh, interesting. Yeah. Um, and uh, we won't be the judges either. Oh, no. Uh, we'll see if you guys want to be the judges. Uh, certainly, Aaron and uh, Davey would be harsh judges. We might talk to them about this. Yeah. We'll see. Um, yeah. We'll see if they... <laughs> We'll see if we think that's fair. We haven't actually I mean, told them the name of the episode yet. No. Either, so the phase. Um, <laughs> anyway, so why don't we get started with okay. the Speculation Spectacular. All right. Sounds good. All right. <sighs> Do you want to read this part? In the Speculation Spectacular. Three we put our fast. Speculation Spectacular. Speculation Spectacular. Speculation Spectacular. Little... We put our reputations as oracles on the line and revel in what's possible in 2019 from Games Workshop. All right, so the, here's how we're going to score points. We're going to have three categories. Three. We're going to have low-hanging fruit. Yep. So this is stuff that has been very heavily suggested by Games mm-hmm. Workshop. That we're seeing these things. They're pretty obvious. Um, or I wouldn't say necessarily obvious, but there's there's just strong evidence for them. Yep. Um, or we, a lot of people have still, been like, hey, this is coming. Yeah, we could still be wrong. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, then there's subtle machinations. Now, this is a tear up. This is going to be where we put um, a few things that maybe are hinted at, but we don't have an idea of what it means. We don't have a pat- we don't have a standard to to mm-hmm. go by, um, and it'll be where we talk about brand new factions. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, nobody predicted uh, Caradron Overlords or or I don't know Deepkin. Like, so we're unlikely to get this correct. But um, you don't but, have a lot of confidence in what, yourself, well, do you? I'm I'm re- I'm really setting the stage of expectations, so. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a very low score at the end of 2019, but I'll be pleasantly <laughs> surprised, and everyone else will be too. They don't, um, and then uh, so and so we'll talk about that. I mean, there's just those things come somewhat out of the blue mm-hmm. in retrospect. Sometimes you can see them, yep. right? Um, and then the last uh, category is going to be shoot the moon. Mm-hmm. This is going to be the one that we're going to be going for the belt. Uh, this is well. Yeah, we're we're going for 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 broke on this one, um, and this will be just you know taking some clue from outside the industry, inside the industry, from 40k, from something else, and or and and infer into it something that is not inferable, but somehow we're we're cramming that in there. <laughs> well, there should not be inferable, it, <laughs> or please don't infer <laughs> this. Humanly impossible, morally Im, uh, improbable, or yeah. or improper to who knows. Yeah. Uh, to suggest it, yet we're going to suggest it, and there's going to be points attached to it, and there'll be humiliation at the end of the year yeah. of 2019 when we are either right or wrong. Um, probably, even if we're right, we're probably <laughs> exactly. Um, so, I just want to before we go and start making predictions, yeah, just want to point out that Eric and I have a little bit of a difference of opinion here on these predictions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number one, Eric, do you think that there's any skill in making these predictions? Maybe this is part of my self-deprecation, <laughs> so that there's low expectation. <laughs> But I think that where things are obvious, so in our first with low hanging fruit, we've been given enough information where it's not really our skill or brain power that's allowing us to deduce those. Yeah. And then when it comes later, I feel like um, Games Workshop counters uh, patterns intentionally so that even if there was a skill of like matching all the pieces together, they're going to. Whatever that they're gonna, whatever that is, they're gonna be like, no, someone's gonna think that, so we're gonna go someplace else. Mm-hmm. So I just, don't, I think that whatever skill could be applied to this is out the door because there's uh, there's counter terrorist uh, um, teams at <laughs> okay. Games Workshop. Games Workshop counter terrorist teams. Yeah, that and the terrorists are people who can predict their stuff. 
Wow. And, and then produce. Could that metaphor be stretched any more thinly? Yeah, it could, but I'm not going to. That's it. That's <laughs> it sounds anyway. good. That's good. Let's, how about it's anti-copyright teams, right? They're looking for IP. So we've got lawyer terrorists? Yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is getting convoluted already. It's is that a prediction? Counterfeiting. Are you going to wager any points on Let's, that? Okay, we'll go count, counter counterfeiting. Counter counterfeiting. <laughs> How about that? Those teams. All right. All right. What do you think? You don't agree. No, I don't, don't agree. You don't agree that it's a bunch of, of like, you literally need to talk to spirits to get this stuff. Well, I think what the uh, or, what it comes down to is okay. um, Games Workshop always goes back to the lore somehow. Okay. Right? They go back to the lore somehow to come up with the, these ideas. Yeah. Obviously, these ideas are the brainchilds of Jess Goodwin. They're the brainchilds of, like, all these amazing miniature designers, all these amazing visualization artists so they don't just take this stuff out of thin air right yeah. 40k wouldn't be 40k it wouldn't be this huge narrative bulwark of content of fiction sure. unless there was somebody as a guardian there saying wait 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 that doesn't fit in with right, our narrative right. wait that doesn't fit in with our lore and i think a lot of people think that age of sigmar doesn't have that because it's too new well, and they started off with very few connections to the old mm-hmm. world or the history, but in recent, in this past year, mm-hmm. they've said, "No, we want to mine that. We yep. want to pull from that." Still, yeah. they started anchoring a bunch of stuff back in the old lore, the old fiction, um, not necessarily in ways that we would have yeah. understood or anticipated and, or wanted, sometimes. or necessarily wanted. That's correct, uh, but it is what it is, and yep. uh, I think what it comes down to is. The same people who work at Games Workshop are the same people that don't work at Games Workshop at the end of the day. They're passionate hobbyists who really want to make this into something that's awesome, right? You yeah. don't end up working for a company like this unless you have a passion for the hobby. Right. So and you're saying they're like us. They're like us. So at some point, we that's do very, have some... It's very kind of, humanizing of you. You're saying that they're normal people who have normal brains, yeah. normal creative limits, uh-huh. and therefore we should be able to match their yeah. them... Uh, Pawn, chess move for chess move. We shouldn't be able to match them chess move for chess move. I mean, we like, should be able to figure out where they're going. We should be able to figure out some kind of. So you do think there's a psychic back. element to? There prediction. is some kind of psychic element. All right. So we are also testing to see whether or not we're psychic in yeah. this phase. A little bit throughout the year, 2019. All right. Uh, All right. We didn't, but it's it's the scrying phase. So, it's the scrying phase. Uh, the speculation spectacular of the scrying phase. <laughs> uh, 2019 can, commencing. 2019. R- right now. <laughs> All right. So how do we score points? Uh, all right. So in the first, the low-hanging fruit phase... I think we all have an idea. These are going to be some things that are, we kind of have an idea of. So we're going to score ourselves pretty light. We're not going to get a ton of points for getting... Well, we're not going to score ourselves. Well, we're going to get we're going to scored. Get, we're going to get points on it. We're, yeah. going, to, we're going to... Basically, if you... Uh, for instance, um, if there's an army release that we're pretty sure is coming out, mm-hmm. and we predict that there's a, uh, a book to it... Let's, let's and a, go and like spell it out here, right? Okay. So we think that with low-hanging fruit, that for sure there's coming a battle. Yeah, we don't, right? want to, we don't want to... If we guess the right thing, we're not going to give ourselves a ton of points. No, exactly. So, but we're going to give example, our room. We're going to give ourselves room to score some big points by getting more specific than we should. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, then we have any right to be <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, and then um, in so that's going to be kind of the, the place. And, and Paul and I are going to give each other space to maybe one up a little bit. Right. So, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's safe. There's a safe range of prediction. We have a and safe then, word. <laughs> uh, scry. All right. Um, uh, and uh, then there's kind of a going a little bit further and some points associated with that. Yep. Maybe, yeah, we can we can talk about that. Um, so, there, you know, we're talking five points. We're talking ten points, something like that. Five points for easy. Mm-hmm. Ten points if we go a little bit further. Twenty points if we, you know, uh, if we get super specific. Yeah. Um, and, and then at the end of the year, again, so we'll get... In general, um, uh, if we score it, we get full points. Mm-hmm. If we miss it, we lose half points. Mm-hmm. So it's not to give ourselves some some incentive to shoot and not get yeah. zero. Um, there's you know tro- I mean, trophies, I don't need trophies for but trying. Eric needs incentive. Trophies here. for trying. Participation trophies. Um, then in subtle machinations, we're going pretty like there's some threads, but they're thin. We you know. Um, 
So we're going to have to get specific out of the gate. So there we're starting 10 points, 20 points, or 15 mm-hmm. points if if it's something real specific or real crazy. And then we've got Shoot the Moon. And this mm-hmm. is... Uh, did I already talk about these? No. No. It, no, we ta- I talked about it. Yeah, I shared... But as far as points, but points yeah. This is off the wall. And these are probably 50 pointers. There's a wall? To- off the wall. Off the wall. Oh, okay, got it. The wall is, is a thing that boxes in these ideas and keeps same things you know inside but then it's when you weird. break the wall I don't, I don't really have one of those yeah you don't have much of a filter <laughs> um so um yeah so that's that's kind of the pointing system mm-hmm. um and then i think what we'll maybe what we'll do towards the end of the year or i don't know at some point mm-hmm. we'll have to we'll probably have to put a poll out and see within reason yeah Within what, possibility as within, well. <laughs> what should be the ramifications of either, maybe it's something like a 25% right mm-hmm. is, a, is a fail, right? Yeah. If we only get 25% right, mm-hmm. then um, we're so many points out of X, whatever, mm-hmm. 25% of the points that we think we got, yeah. then we have to do something bad. If we get up to 75 or 100, yeah. maybe we get to you know go out double wing night, kind of something. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Some nice wine yeah, and double wings. So we're thinking something with, the, like, this is an actual skin game. So if we, for example, get everything completely wrong. Oh. I'm not talking about taking your shirt off. Oh, okay. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Nobody wants to see that. But if, for example, uh, we were to get everything wrong, we could do something like Nice Bucket Challenge. Ooh. Or In, have to make a tinfoil you know hat that we December wear. this is December of next year, right? Yeah, I do know this is December of next All year. Right. We have to have real consequences. December. Okay. Hypothermia. Right. Hypo- hypothetically hypothermia. <laughs> Hypothetic hypothermia. <laughs> but we'll see. There is going to be some actual consequences for so, being terribly, horribly wrong. So maybe you guys can give some suggestions and we can weed through them and determine whether they're... <laughs> whether we're willing to do them <laughs> and whether they're not. possible. But we'll set up these conditions and and um, towards the beginning of the year mm-hmm. um, so that we have plenty of time. Um, now, I think there's maybe also some... Spe- you know, I think we could probably easily speculate that... Most of our answers will be answered within the first half of the year by GHB, mm-hmm. you know, um, 2019. Because a lot of they're pretty AOS is front loaded to the first part of the year pretty well, right? At least that's been the pattern. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Speculate. <laughs> All right. So, should we? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. And and you're writing these down. I'm writing down the. the I, can, uh, I can I can write them right. down here. Too. So what we're gonna do. Uh, the format is going to be that we're going to start discussing some ideas, both yep. of us back and yep. forth. When we're done with our discussion, we're going to start planting flags in the sand. Yes. Say, yes. this is my prediction. So this we'll, is we'll go category, category by category. We'll yep. discuss it and then put our flags in the stand. Now, we might be relatively similar. We might be completely apart. Oh, right. But I'd, we each stand by our own predictions. First first speculation is how how close do you think we're going to be in... In what we're waging, like, oh, I are you going to go way? Do you think you're going to go way further in a lot more cases? Therefore, have a higher points total to reach? Oh, quite possibly. Okay, I would, I would, I would wager. Okay, <laughs> all right. So our first, we're going to. So let's get into it. Let's ease into it. So we're heading, hitting the low hanging. Where fruit do you want to go first? So we're going to go with Moon Clan. Yeah, I mean, this one's just everyone's ready for it. They're, I see a bad moon rising. It, it yep. literally on Warhammer Community today said, "Don't look at the moon because there's a bad moon." Yep. Like, and it's coming. There's a, a Hammer Hall, you know, Herald. sign, Herald sign that was in the dirt that somebody tore off and put in the dirt and it said, um, yeah, similarly, like, you know, pay no attention to the, or the, what was it, signed off by the College of, of Lunar Studies and yeah, Fungal and, and the, Harvesting yep. or something. <laughs> yep. Uh, man, they just don't want people to know about all this stuff going on. They don't. They are very, very clandestine. So, all right. So, yes, Moon Clan. Everybody yes. gets that. We do not get five points for. Uh-uh. Do we get five points? For no, we don't. Okay, because you all know that. We all know that. So, I think it's pretty obvious. We get points then if we, I'd say, when. So, in this low hanging fruit, where we're talking about armies, we assume that there's going to be a battle tome. Yep, battle right? tome. That's assumed. And new models. Yep. So you get five points if you can maybe de- you can maybe a when it could be a five point. Oh, I'm not doing one. Um, I think it's, I think it's going to be our New Year's. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, last year they did a kind of a Christmas release. Yeah. I think we're going to get it here in 
well, end I, of December, beginning of January. I think so too, but I'm not going to say when the kits are coming out because they're just spread out over the whole time. Well, they they do them pretty short, but I'm so I think we'll get them in January. All right, so you're going to January. So January. All right. I don't disagree with that, but I'm not going to wager on that because I don't care about that. Moon Clanuary. Moon Clanuary. No, Gratzmas. The 12 Days Gratzmas. of Gratzmas. Hey, that'd be great. We had the 12 Days of Nurgle last year. We're getting the 12 Days of yeah, Gratzmas yeah. this year. I mean... That's my prediction. I mean, it could, I mean, yeah. You could do... You could go with the Jewish holidays, though. But they did it last year. Because then, you could, do, then and... you could do um, uh, dreidels uh, with uh, mushrooms. Hanagratwari? Mushroom dreidels. Anyway... I, I, <laughs> Uh, those are be, you know, right. anyway. So there is low hanging fruit underneath the Moon Clan release so, of models. What's the low hanging fruit that's probably going to be getting released? New squigs, new plastic squigs, right? I'm not going to wager any points on that because that seems pretty obvious. Mm, I mean, sometimes you're welcome yeah, to I wager. Would, I would not wager because I don't. We think there's plastic squigs coming. I don't think there's going to. I don't think they're going to redo them. Or what are the current squigs? Are they just metal and they're metal fine and cast? Fine cast. All right, so yes, maybe there's new. Okay, maybe you think it's more obvious than I do. I just, it's one of those I things where... I think it's pretty obvious. But you, you're welcome to wager. No, I mean, there's other things that, like, would be really nice, but they're already in plastic. They're just bad. So, yeah, since they're not, fine, since they're in fine cast, that makes sense. But um, I'm not going to wager on that one. All right. You could... What would you wager on? Uh, I would wager that they are going to be getting a new Mangler Squig kit of some sort. Because that's also fine cast. Currently. It's also fine cast currently. So you're you're th- okay. But it, I think it's gonna be a dual kit. I mean, there's already two squigs in the current one. Exactly. So you think it's and with two plastic? Squigs? Well, I don't know if it's just gonna be two squigs. You could you could take the easy road. You could just do a mangler squig one on top of the other. That's one kit, one on two bases or whatever. Right. Yeah. That's a second kit, uh, second rules model. I don't think that'll inspire too many people. So I think we might see the Mangler Squig be something different than it is now. So a different functioning unit? Yeah. I mean, like, I would love to see a Mangler Squig that just has... It's one squig, but it's got just, like, chains and balls all around yeah. the center of it, just swinging all over the place. Yeah. That'd be so much easier to do in plastic than it would be able to do in yeah. fine cast. Um, and then... Do you think that there's going to be new squig herders or squig riders? Well... If the squig plastic squigs are coming, I assume they're going to be a plastic kit, and I assume it's going to be a dual kit with regular squigs, and with squig riders on top. Do do you think that there's any other type of grot addition? So that's he- pretty heavy squig yeah. redo. Yeah, and you're right. Do you think that there's any potential on the? I mean, oh yeah, because there's the troll, right? Mm-hmm. So there could be uh, more because there could be new trolls. Historically, the trolls have been part of not necessarily the Moon Clan. I don't know if they're are they Moon Clan. Or River no? trolls have been part River of the Moon trolls. Clan. Or so, stone, was it Stone Trolls? Stone Trolls have been part of the Moon Clan. So the I mean the the fungus trolls uh-huh. seems like there could be a unit of three. Yeah, fungus trolls. Um, to match the the Night Vault Dudo. Yeah. Um. Or it could be one or just two. It could be just a but the trolls have historically come with. I think we could see a new heavily armored Moon Clan, um, a la the uh, the the Night Vault Warband. Yeah. yeah, that one guy has mm-hmm. got some good armor on it. Yeah, so elite he seems to be a hero. But yeah, elite Moon Clan Grats, something a little bit sturdier, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, it comes out you, to you know what I'd love to see what um, Squig Riders uh-huh. with. Um, uh, Jousting. Jousting squigs? Yeah. Lances? Yeah, lances. Lances? All right. I mean, that'd be hard to navigate in a cave. But. Meh. All right. So, anything else? Anything else seem plausible? Well, we needed some new plastic heroes. Yeah, I think there's. We only have two heroes right now. Yeah. Uh, We have the Harbinger. There's a a dude uh, grot riding a squig with armor on him in Forge World. Yep. Um, and there's also a command uh, with a sweet new uh, wizard and a couple of those. Yeah, the Night Vault one has the wizard with the kind of like being risen up by smoke and stuff, right? Yeah, and the Forge World one has the wizard who is literally overtaken by yeah. the smoke and he's got the I mean, skull coming out of his about. mouth. 
I thought, is the Nightbot one do that? Or no? Maybe I'm, th- I'm confusing the two. Because I think I was just looking at them. Um, all right. But we need some new characters. Yeah. Because, I mean, and I think the Squig characters are probably the ones. Well, are are the Grot characters also fun cast currently? So there's just, I mean, this could be a huge redo. Well, I mean, for a huge redo, for example, for Nurgle, right? They didn't yeah. redo the Plague Bearers. No. They did give them rot but flies. But they're plastic. Yeah, but they're plastic. They gave them rot flies. Mm-hmm. They gave them a bunch of new characters. Yep. Um, but not that many new units. They get. They did do a f- uh, plastic um, beast of Nurgle. What is the new big kit for Moon Clan? Is there a new big one? Because that might the... be the Mangler kit. Okay. Because they have the colossal squig. Yep. Fort World. I don't see them re- taking over that space. Yeah. Unless they know the mold is going or something like that. Right. But I mean, like, but. Um, orcs got the Maw Crusher instead of the old um, yeah. Wyvern, right? Yeah. And the Wyvern was metal still? or Oh, fine yeah. Cast? Fine cast metal. All right. So, all right. So, so flags in the stand. So, Moon Flags are coming. Yep. Book and new models. No points for that. All right. Five so points. How many, can... how many prophetic utterances are you willing to, to wager? None? So and we're saying not so we're not going to give ourselves points for squigs cuz Well you can give your point yourself points for squigs. I'm not giving my points for If you're not going I'm not going All right. All right. I'm not going <laughs> Um all right. So you you're thinking mango are you going to put your flag in for mango squig? I think there's going to be a mango squig redo. All right. So five yes. five point yeah. wager on on mango. And squig. I think it's going to be a dual kit, but I'm going to go with mango redo for sure. I'm going to go with Fungus Trolls. All right. For five. Do you have another prediction? Uh, I'm going to say there's going to be a, a squig writing. Well, do I want to go squig writing hero? I do. That's what I'd love to see. Is a squig dude writing, writing a squig. Because right. I've got a couple of. Yeah. All right. Or should, I go, should I go drowsting squig writers? Completely up to you. I ain't influences your vote. I'm gonna go jousting squig riders instead of squig riding hero. Yep. So All right. That's two five point projections above the. All right. We don't get. Yeah. That's so. That's only ten points. So. so my first prediction is the mango squig. Yeah. Second. My second prediction completely opposite. I think we're not getting any new squigs at all. I think we Ooh. are getting a centipede monster. You're introducing a neg prediction. So are you well, going to take five points for no squigs? No, because I already did Mangler. Okay, okay. I, like I'm doing, I'm doing a safe bet. I think <laughs> okay. by doing the Mangler squig centipede. Kit. Yeah, have we gotten a centipede? If you look on the Harbinger, he's got a centipede yeah, yeah. coming up his back, and yeah. then there's another centipede on his staff. Well, the Sylvaneth have that too. Yeah, but they don't have it quite the same as well, I have those two. That that one. Uh, yeah, wizard. Mm-hmm. I know. I Dry. own two of them. She has. It's not the same. No, it's not, it's same. not okay. quite the same. Okay. So you're going. So I'm gonna go with I mean, a more worms a and giant bugs would be centipede cool. monster. All right, I'm going for it. You didn't even you didn't even bring that up in the. I didn't even think about it until just okay. now, and then I was giant, like, "Wait, I was thinking about this." Giant centipede monster, cool. And then going to be a dual kit. Centipede will count. Will, will, any kind of worm to <coughs> figure, uh-huh. we'll give it to you. That's um, all right. All right. <coughs> Anything else on that one? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So you've got you get ten points wagered. I got ten points wagered. I got ten points wagered. All right, all right. Second low hanging fruit for AOS. Dark oath. Dark oath. Humans. They already have a warband. Yeah, they're they're. We've, got, we've seen the warband. They're in night vault. Um, they're a hair band army. And they've got a harbinger. Yeah. With the war queen. Dark and, oath war queen. And the dark oath uh, war war chief. That's right. From silver tower. Mm hmm. Um, so that's going back to twenty seventeen. So, or 2016. So, yeah, I'm Dark Oath. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we think they're getting a battle tome. I think we're probably getting a new Marauders replacement. All right. Do you think? Instead of otherwise, Marauders just get. Do you think. Disp- or, um, what are they called right now? Um, what are the, the Marauder kit and stuff called right now? Marauders? No, they've got another name um, Slaves of Darkness. Oh yeah, yeah. Do we think slaves of darkness are getting part of that, or that they're 
totally separate or that Slaves of Darkness is going away? I don't think Slaves of Darkness is going away. Okay. Um, but I think Dark Oath is going to be something separate. Because the Warrior Kit is still pretty cool, but yeah. those Marauders... Those Marauders are old. They those feel Marauders like... Those Marauders are busted. Yeah. But... They're still plastic. They're still plastic. Just like the High Elf Warriors. But I do think that Dark Oath is definitely an opportunity to get some new humans... Yeah. Some good human sculpts in. And not, uh, which they do you also think, shoehorned they, in with a Zinch Arcanite release. Are they reversized? Big muscular? Or do you think... I, I haven't seen the work queen in person. Um, I haven't seen the work queen in person either. So, do you I, think, so it seems like there'd be a mounted unit, maybe? Because, you know, chaos on horses. But those Marauder horses are still... I this don't... is where I think but maybe like the Marauder horses are going to get pulled into Dark Oath. Marauder horses is a great kit. Yeah, it is. I it own is. like 10 of them. They're pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome. They could easily fit in with a new Dark Oath release right. without any modification. So I could see that. Um, They're very barbarian. And this is one of the things that yep. I thought that when, when releasing a human uh, faction that having a barbarian like the leftovers because the... the the humans or people or citizens who remained in the mortal realms when Azir closed have had to like fight for everything, have had to kind of revert back to, you know, barbarian lifestyle. So I feel like that's these guys, and but they've just, they've gone to chaos because that's what was around. Mm, they've made a dark but they, oath. But they didn't, but they didn't have to make the same oath that a reaver did in like eating yeah. somebody or anything like that. So I'm really intrigued by these guys being, lesser evil or even the potential of them being dual alliance mm-hmm. they've made a dark oath but they could make a light oath a light oath like maybe they can ally with it's just an oath you can break an oath oath breakers oath breakers um all right anything else i mean it's, this one so this one feels like there could be anything in it like it could be a new mammoth Yep, it could be a new mammoth. You know, something like that could be interesting. I can't see them doing just a copy of a mammoth. Right, and they've already got the the elephant in um, the, the Mumma Kill, the in the in Lord, Lord of the, the Rings, Rings stuff. Yep. So, and and this is where hmm. I think part of the skill comes in is that you have to have something that one of the miniatures designed with is miniature designers is enthused enough to design. So you have to stalk the miniature designers to see what else they're interested in. A little bit. <laughs> no. no. I think just what it comes down to is how interested would you be to make another mammoth? Right. We've already got stone horns. We've already got thunder tusks. Somebody's already done yeah. the mammoth. So Bear? We don't have... There's no bears. There are no bears. But and that's kind they've of also, Kislev. They've steered away from doing regular animals. animals. Well, they haven't steered away from animals. We've got war pigs. And we've got... Cats. Yeah, but and they don't got, look like warp. And we've got so we we've, we've got stormcats have ton of animals. They do, but they they're, they're a dog with an eagle, right? They're not. They're a fantasy well, animal. I'm just negating your your blanket statement of they've gone away from animals. Well, they've gone away from natural animals. Sure, sure. No, yeah. that, so I think so. Not bear. Then it's but it's something like rhinox, right? Or it's something like yeah, a combo animal. So owl bears. No, wait, that's D and D. Um. I think there's a lot of ground to be able to work. I think there's some sort of dire bear kind of thing with like spikes and spurs coming out of it, or like, um, or some sort of like mutated griffin type thing, or like, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like like the opposite of the the empire griffin or something like that. But is there anything like new manticore? We've got a manticore, new chimera, new. They're both plastic. What about the um? Basilisk, not the basilisk. What is the the? the yeah, I, I don't see them redoing that one either. Though. Do you think they're coming? I mean, they've got to come with a monster. So it's it's. I think it's going to be War Queen riding on top of something huge. I don't think it. It could be something droth, like some sort of dragon thing. But I feel it's going to be furry because it's barbarian. You think it's going to be barbarian? You think they're going to stick with that? Yeah. So what realm do you think they're going to be in? Because they I don't all think that... these armies have a realm that they're in. So the the but they start out from right. So in uh, Gur has had a lot of barbarians in the stories. Do so you think they're going to be from Gur? I think they could come from Gur. Uh, where did the where did the did we get a place that they came from in what call it in the Malay importance? Um, not really. 
not that I, wait. I mean, not that you're not going to mind. Gonna, they're not going to wear fur in um, Akshi. But I think you're talking Akshi and free people. So mm-hmm. I think that's fine. So I think Gurr's a good, good spot to bring him from. Hardy people. Right. And it's kind of like Chaos Wastes from the old world. I just, yeah. I don't see them doing a big monster kit that's anything like what we've seen before. But, well, but that being said. That's the thing, though, is I don't think we've, I mean, we've seen the, a reimagining of mammoths. Mm-hmm. Or some sort of giant furry beast, I yeah. think, is within. Okay, I got it. Oh, I'll, yeah? I'll have it in my prediction. Okay, sounds good. All right. Um, I'm still just kind of going through this. I think it's time for us to, to plant our banners. I know, but I'm, I'm still just like. All right, so we on. do believe that this year, 2019, there is going to be a dark oath. I think that's fair. Is Based it? on everything that we've heard, we had yep. two Harbingers armies last year. Two Harbingers armies this year would make yep. sense. Yep. We definitely think it's coming. All right. So that I'm going to say, and there's right. going to be a book, and there's going to be um, new models. Yep. First prediction. Yep. There's going to be a War Queen uh-huh. on War Sloth. On War Sloth? Yeah. There's going to be a killer War Sloth, uh, as, and it's going to be reared up on its legs, like ready to do this. In slow motion. Okay. War sloth. Um, so that's me, five points. Okay. Um, I'm going with that there is going to be a new Marauder kit. Hmm. A new mounted Dark Oath. No. A new, new foot. Foot soldier. I think they're going to replace an old plastic kit. Okay. Which to me is a, that's worth not, wagering. Yeah. Because they haven't yeah. done that yet. Yeah. So I think there is going to be a new Dark Oath on foot. That they're going to do that where they didn't do zombies? You're madman. Well, they didn't do any new models for that release. I know, yeah. Because of all, they had it all in Night Hunt. Um, all right. Are you going to wager anything else? What else? I think that they're going to bring... I mean, I feel like this one's one where I'm going to lose a bunch. <laughs> I think they're going to bring the Rhinox back. Or something like so that you've got the war sloth, but I think you're gonna have a smaller, like heavy cavalry. All right, so monstrous heavy cavalry. Yeah, that's gonna be something like a rhinox or something. Because I don't think dark oath is coming without some some beasts. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they're coming with beasts, and I don't think it's gonna be scalies. I think it's gonna be furry. Yeah. Hmm. You got another one? I'm thinking on it. I do like the idea of having another leader with a large... Uh, I mean, Mounted Heroes is the theme. Yeah. Do you think something other than a sloth? You want to you wanna go head-to-head? Or uh, claw I don't, to claw on that? Uh, I don't know. It would take you a while to get there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's definitely got a lot of fur on their models that we've seen so far. So I don't think that's a bad wager for sure. Um, go big or go home. I don't know. I just, I don't know if. Do you want us? So we could hit, we could stop the recording and just quit. No. I, just, I don't <laughs> have a good solid idea of what to wager. Don't put anything in. That's all right. I'll go big on this I one. I feel like I've, I'll go big I've, on this one. I've we failed myself. On. No, no, because you're you have shoot the moon to redeem. That's true. I have shoot the moon <laughs> to redeem. All right, uh, and there was there was a. I'm gonna go with ships. They're getting a ship, uh, like a boat. They're getting Wolfric the Wanderer as Dark Oath. They're gonna show up on ships that show up on the battlefield, like a longboat type of thing. Yep, like a they're Viking a ship. longboat. All right, done. All right, I'm going for it. All right, a flying ship or just a water ship? I think it'll be a flying ship. I don't think it's going to be a water ship. I don't think they're going to do the... But I don't think they're going to bring the ether Sea with them. I think it's just going to be they have ships that can fly. Yeah. They've, made wow. a, they've made a malign compact. Interesting. All right. All right. All right. Slanesh. All right. Slanesh has gotten uh, in Ra- um, Wrath and Rapture. We've yep. gotten a new... Uh, it's two new kits. Yep. We've gotten a new the new Fiends. Um, Fiends. Kit. 
which look amazing. And we've gotten the new harp player. And rapturing sorceress. Yeah, something like rapturing that. Rapturing seductress. Seductress. Sorry. Um, who's playing some dude's harp? Playing a dude's entrails as a harp. Um, all right. So, is it possible that that's all of it? I don't think so. All right, no, me neither. Uh, so, new keeper secrets probably. We have right. to have a new keeper secret. We've gotten we've gotten new big Nurgle. Are we gonna wager new... on that? You thinking or just did we get new? Yeah, we got new bloodthirsters for corn. We got new. Um... Do we? Are we gonna get Enkari? Not keeper secret. Not keep, is it keep... keeper secrets? Is our greater demon? Right. What's the zinc one? Uh, the Lord of Change. Lord of Change. That's right. So we've got new Lord of Change. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Multiples of those, and we've gotten um, new, um, you know, multi kit of of grand uh, grand clean ones. So yeah, yeah. we've got to have keeper secrets. That's easy. We don't get any points for that yeah <clears throat> um we're not getting probably we're not getting new um demons of slanesh Dimonets. it does Dimonets. not seem that we're getting Dimonets. They're, they're in the new wrath and rapture book box yeah um anything else Looking i think we there. have to be getting something else so wasn't was there something other than Keeper of Secrets, any other big models that have been in that? Uh, well, they used to have Seekers of Slanesh. Their Keeper, that the, the, instead of being the four-legged, it yep. was a boob worm. It, when they did Storm of Chaos, right. it was a conversion-only yeah, yeah. unit. Davy's got that Chaos uh, Warlord on Demonic yep. Mount that's that worm thing. So I think... Yep. And Slanesh has a snake, some snakish things to it because of Marathi's coming from there and kind of gained those mutations. Yeah. So we're probably going to get some sort of yeah yeah some sort of boob mount for or worm mount sorry for a. Uh, a you think we're going to go back to the old design language? Because now I know Vince is feeling the you know um, leather strap kind yeah, of yeah leather of, daddy yeah I I think that they'll go more uh, I mean the demonettes definitely have that like leather bodice kind of you know dominatrix mm-hmm. kind of feel i think they'll and they've got that dude subdued and in pain and as a harp like i think yeah. they'll go like torture yeah uh snm type type thing which i don't think they're gonna go too far with it but it's pretty grotesque as it is I yeah mean, it's not quite my style yeah um so what else is possible in there i don't know this lore as well um well, there's a they've, lot they've got possible. they've got a lot of slenish heroes that are mm-hmm. In fine cast currently, there's the yep. um, the pretty boy night guy. Yeah, he's the slaves to darkness, um, but he's oh, in he? there for sure. Uh, uh, and then they there's have the, the mask. The mask who has the two. Yeah, yeah. she's in the oh, double handed. She's in uh, Realm at War video game currently. Right. Um, um, they had a hmm. lot of stuff that was in the old stuff. Um, so I mean, I could see new so Daemonettes we- riding steeds. So we've um, got Seekers, we've got Demonettes on Seekers, and we've got Marauders on Seekers, right? That's correct. Um, and then we've got Seeker Chariots and Exalted Seeker Chariots. That's right. Which everyone hates putting together. Yeah. But those are kind of big kits. Those are big kits. Um, can we go bigger? Is there anything bigger? Well, keep, our, keep secret. our secrets. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't think you need to go much bigger than that. But I don't know if that leaves room for any other kind of... Well, let's go to this way. Um, in the past, when they've done these box sets, right, Blight War in mm-hmm. specific, the big cool hero gets its own box set release, yep. right? So we would have the enrapturing seductress yep. get her own box set. So and this was similar to like um, Nave and uh, Horticulus. Yep, that's right. In the Blight War, uh, the they're getting it now. Would get their own uh, release. Yeah, just like the Blight. The Rotflies got their own release. Yeah, but I mean, since these ones are in a box, mm-hmm. the Fiends are in this box. I don't think they're going to get their own release for a while. Uh, well, yeah, I agree. It won't be for a while, but I think when Slanesh drops, I think that's when they'll get their release. Not sure. All right. That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that would be one of the three boxes. It's, it's one of those things where sometimes the stuff that's in boxes uh-huh. tends to not come loose into its own box for some time. Yeah. You know, that's, you know, even from the first starter box to... Yeah. I don't, can you get Horticulus by himself yet? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's a year. They, yeah, there was a year l- after. Yeah. They, they started to speed that up lately. Um, um, all right. Then is there any other surprises, you think? or I definitely think there's going to be a surprise. Okay. 
All right, um, where do you want to plant your leather? Um, I'm going to go with a, um, let's go with a, like, pleasure chariot. Hmm. So roughly in the vein of the, the secret chariots. Yeah. But more of a buff piece, more of like a palanquin. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Something pulled by people. Something pulled by people. I like. I don't think this is the extent of the design that they have gone with their grotesque with Slanesh. Yeah, yeah. I think there are more kits that are going to put that forward. Yeah. And there have been people pulling a chariot in the background and in the art for forever. Yeah. And I think they finally can do it right. So I'm going with a pleasure chariot of some sort. All right. So, yeah, we're definitely thinking there's going to be a book. There's going to be new models. There's going to be a keeper secrets. That's a given. Yeah. Um, I think an easy one that I will take is a new um, Slanesh hero on kind of a snake worm thing. Okay. Um, on monstrous snake. Yeah. Something. Yep. All right. You know, I think. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh huh. Uh, a whirling dancing mask type unit that kind right. of plays off the mask, but a unit of whirling. So like swirling. whirling dervishes. Yep. Slanesh uh, whirling dervishes. Yep. Awesome. But I didn't want to go, I didn't want to pull off that directly, but like, because in the realm of war, she's dancing and she's causing damage as she goes. Yeah. And so I'm imagining a unit that goes and dances. Slanesh and, dancers. And, yeah. Yeah. All right. Dance fighters. So like more of a script. Dance fight. Unit. Breakdance fight. Yeah. They're breakdance fight. All right, so that's 10 points for me. What All do right. you got? What do you got? Uh, I think we're getting a Decal of the Denied. Decal of the Denied. And Flat describe out. Describe her. Uh, she is a snake body. Mm-hmm. She's got six arms with a bunch of knives, etc. She's already been called out in the lore for AOS. She's been called out specifically against, uh, what's her face? Mm, snake lady? Ma- Marathi. Marathi. Um, I think given the demonic nature that there could be enough design space to make something really interesting um, and very directly yeah. opposed. Directly opposed. Yeah, especially to Marathi. Um, there's been some interesting conversation about because the Daughters of Cain are pretty strong right now in the meta. Yep. Uh, putting out this that would be her direct uh, opposite would be kind of interesting. Exactly. And she's specifically I, mentioned in Marathi's story. Yeah. I will not be denied. Exactly. Yep. That was the clue. Yep. All right. I'm so good with that. I see. I see Decala coming out. Any I don't other... know if it'll be part of the as a dual kit for the Keeper yeah. of Secrets, and that'll be the named. Here's a question for keeper. you: Whether or not you want to take a take five points on it, something to counter Canary, shooting or flying. Do you think that there's something? I'm not going there. That's a meta answer, and I don't. I don't. Well, but I mean, like just aesthetically. I don't think that's the way they design miniatures. Okay. Personally, you are welcome to. No, I'm not. I'm not capable of that. All right. It'd be cool. That's all of our low hanging fruit. Yeah. Um. So we're roughly about ten points for each of those that yeah. we've put on the board. Um. Some some different things though. I'm I'm excited. I'm. I like what we came up with. It'd be. Re- if you haven't designed the models yet, if 2019 isn't planned yet, well, that was one of my. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll put goodness. this challenge out to Games Workshop. If we score eighty percent or higher on these points, I'm going to leave while you give this. Uh, to me. Um, I'll put this challenge out to you. If we at the, at the end of 2019 we score above eighty percent on these, it's a pretty safe bet we won't. You invite Paul and I into the design studio to put something on the table for. Uh, 2021. All right. Now, I will say, <laughs> you can't just make a general directive. You know these people, right? So who in general are we calling out and saying? Well, I mean, we're calling, um, well. We're we calling out Pete Foley. Yeah. We're we calling out Ben Johnson. Yeah. All right. And So then let's, let's I'll, call out a direct. call out Jervis? I've never met Jervis. I haven't either, but we've seen him on... Jervis, we're calling you out. Yeah, you don't know us, but <laughs> you we don't know, know you. Us. So if we get 80% on our points end of 2019, then yeah. you invite Paul and I to the design studio mm-hmm. to uh, instruct the designers on what they're going to be making for 2021. See, that's your prediction. 
I'm just no. I'm saying my that's my reward. My reward. All right, What's your so, reward? All right. All right. My reward is you invite us to the design studio, and we get to design one supplement for AOS. One supplement. So I'm okay with that. Not like a unit or not like an army, but nope. a supplement. I'm going with the supplement. All right. You want? I'm shooting the moon here. If we get eight <laughs> percent, I want. I want to design a new army. That's you fair. want a new supplement? All I right. want a new supplement. I think a new supplement is more achievable. Hey, I don't think. <laughs> I well, like this, that you're like, wait. This feels like we were in the wrong seat right here. <laughs> I feel like we've... All right. Subtle machinations. Fewer strings or p- fewer arrows pointing to these. Yep. But there's something there. So first one. Kind of broad. This one's not as interesting maybe to some. Oops. Skirmish. Yeah. There was a hint in the last uh, White Dwarf that skirmish is coming or we're returning to skirmish. Yep. You're absolutely correct. How that do you think we might... You you were pretty confident. Yep. In skirmish 2.0 is what you said to me. Yes. Skirmish 2.0 is what you said to me. I'm I'm thinking t- skirmish what does that 2.0. Mean? What does that mean in this discussion? I will phase? I will draw some threads for you. All right. All right. So all right. I listened to the latest Stormcast. Yeah. You listen to that as well, right? Yep. Uh, uh, not all of it. Okay. Well, Travis Johnson. Yes. Hello, Travis. Is being interviewed. Yeah. Uh, for this one. You saw the first part. Yeah. Um, and the specific thing that caught my attention, in particular, coordination with this rumor is. Okay. Sam Davies joined the design studio. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And what did he oh, do? This is a good one. Yeah, he did um, uh, He did Hinterlands, yep. which was the most fantastic, well, one of the most fantastic fan-made uh, supplements for, for Age of Sigmar. Mm-hmm. Super simple method of, of kind of creating a warband and playing with it and introduced me to um, the Realm Master, the mm-hmm. idea of being the, the Realm Master for a group of gamers with their warbands and leading them through a story, which... Pushed me on to, to Renown and Ruin, and mm-hmm. put, that, that was what our group played. And that yep. was so much fun. I credit Sam Davies with so much of my fun in, uh, was that last year or this year? Was that end of last year? Yeah, it was both. End of, How about both? Yeah, yeah it's kind of 2017-2018. So, um, so yeah. he did Hinterlands. Yes. He's now at the design studio. And yeah. Jervis specifically said, we got a couple new guys coming on. Sam, he had to hit the ground running when he started. Yeah, well, and I know for a fact he's been he's talked about being a part of the Vindalus stuff. Mm-hmm. So I know he's worked with Phil Kelly on some of that stuff. So I know he's worked on a few things. I think he's worked on uh, there was a game that came out. Uh, it was uh, on the back of a, mm-hmm. a white dwarf that he designed pretty early out of the gate. Yep, uh, which was kind of like a card game with a, I can't remember what it was a giant or something like that. Um, so or. Maybe his was the Zinch one. Um, but yeah, so I mean, he, yeah, so that's all right. So I'm going to Skirmish 2.0. Hi, <sighs> Sam. But would they, here's my counter. Would they call it Skirmish 2.0? Because Skirmish is the not a GW name. Well, I'm not calling the name. We're not getting that pinpoint specific. Okay, okay. So you're saying that you're not, you're not claiming the name as being what they're going to keep calling. Because obviously the things that I point to is this year. Last year we had Shadow War. Then we had Necromunda. Mm-hmm. Then this year we've had Kill Team. Mm-hmm. Small skirmish style games mm-hmm. um, are hot in the industry. Yeah, and AOS does not have a strong one that would appeal to that's marketed to fans. What about Shakespeare? It's not. A, it's that's a board game. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a skirmish game. I think the rules are too tight. To be do you, do you a, want me to, a war game. Do you want me to tie in another statement? Yes. Are you thinking they're going to make a Shade Spire? Cause, cause Wade skirmish... also said, well, the skirmish warbands have rules. The, the Shade Spire warbands have rules for skirmish. Yeah, they have points. Do they have different... Do we already have those? I don't know. Do we already have those? I mean, they have... So rules for skirmish means you have a war scroll uh-huh. and you have points. Yeah. That's all that any model in Age of Sigmar has to yeah. qualify for skirmish. Do we have rules for the war bands for we skirmish? Have, yep. We have AOS war, we have war scrolls I'm for sorry, them. Do we have points for them? We have points for them. Okay. I think we have points. Because, yes. Cause, um, do we have points for season because two? Because when they've come out with any, I believe that when they've come out with any skirmish war band, they've yeah. come out with AOS war scrolls for them and points for their end skirmish. So I th- All right. it's it's bold. It's, it's interesting. You want to hear my bold prediction? Well, and the other thing is, is that Skirmish 1.0, uh-huh. that whole thing was set in Shadespire, the the mm-hmm. the corporeal city yeah. ruined. All right, 
What Bold you... prediction. Skirmish 2.0. What are they going to call it? Shadespire. That's why they had to make Season 2 Underworlds. Oh. I like this. And, oof. <laughs> and they're going to start with the warbands from the, the, the game. And those are an easy oh. in. You know, that's... That's not unlike Necromunda. No. Nope. Having set warbands. It's not unlike Mordheim. No. Nope. Having set warbands. And then you can add to them or you can... Why else release the core here's, game warbands into separate warbands? Here is, would be the, the big barrier is that those warbands are mono build. Yeah. And skirmish, Necromunda, Mordheim uh-huh. are historically intricate, build them how you want kind of games. Yeah. But so, most of those... Most of those basis... I have a basis of an army that's been released, as you just said. Yeah. So you can go back to those kits and customize the models if you really want to. So. Nailed it. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I mean, you've got. Now, Necromunda has, is maybe more off the roof, but. You didn't have they... to customize the models for War- Mordheim. They came as single sculpt miniatures. That's true. Bertha Bombstrong, Sisters of Sigmar. Right. And they've they've hist- I mean part of the reason they go more complicated on 40k is because it's they've got so many profiles for guns and that's kind of like yep. the thing they like to do. Whereas in Mordheim it was just oh you have a dagger oh you, you have, have a short you have a shield sword and, oh, you have a shield long and sword oh, you have, guy, yeah. you know, or you have a hammer. Man, Paul, I'm impressed. I don't know why I didn't connect those dots. <laughs> All right, any other? I was feeling like here's my thing. Is that I'm worried that they're going to say, "Hey, so, some skirmish next month," and it's going to be just some supplements or something. Like mm-hmm. they came out with AOS 2.0, and in the in in the core rules uh, or in Malign Sorcery, they had a set of scenarios you could. They basically reprinted the same rules and added some scenarios yep. for Malign Sorcery, and I was like, "Oh." Mm-hmm. So. I would be more impressed with a sh- taking the name Shadespire Aspire for, and you know, and thinking about it too is like it is so like they just had a book release. Well, and it wasn't timed with the actual Shadespire. Absolutely, and, it, and that book that we just we we're covering it. It'll be out in January, um, the latest Shadespire book, um, and it's the setting is all warbands and skirmishes and all that kind of stuff, um, and it's imagine man. the terrain, Shadespire terrain. Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, and it's just—I mean, uh, so I'm getting into Necromunda, starting to read that lore, yeah, and that's going to drop on the wayside and that, real quick. That hive—I mean, Shadespire is a big hive. It's a hive city. Yeah, it's oh. two hive cities. Well, yeah, an ethereal one. Yeah, and a ruined one, and they both are the same maps. Well, and I think—I mean, we as we talked in—I won't spoil anything from the next episode, but there's some legs on Shadespire as a setting, and as oh a, yeah. All right, let's get in on this one. Skirmish. All right, I've already put down Sam. We'll do Shadespire Skirmish using Shadespire Warbands. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get on that train. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put five good. points on that, too. I like that idea a lot, Paul. Is there uh, anything that I would deviate? Yeah, I think it would be. I don't see them coming out with new Warbands, and this makes it really easy. What if the new war band is the Sisters of Sigmar? All right, now you're on the crazy train. <laughs> Why? Well, Sisters so, of Sigmar could easily be transported so into now, Shadespire. Now we have to, that's going to be, now, I think now you're delving into new factions. Yep. Uh, devoted of Sigmar kind of things. Yeah. So. A devoted of Sigmar. So I think. Sisters if, of Sigmar. If you, oh man. <laughs> All right. Do we want to go back and change one of our predictions from previous? I mean, so no, we've got... I'm saying, do we want to change our prediction for Warbands? Oh, I don't think we can anymore. Can we? Do you want to? I don't know. So, can I add one? You could add one for All right. sure. Sisters you of Sigmar. You can add, but you can't take I'm away. I'm adding Sisters of Sigmar. Okay, so you're going, wow, man, nice. <laughs> I'm, I applaud your bravery. <laughs> um, all right, so then... I don't know if I have any other predictions on this. I feel like I am blindsided by this this um, connection of events. I will say I hoped, I hope that Sam is working on a Shadespire rule set that has some some depth, some depth, some teeth to it, multi levels, and some terrains coming for that. Oh. 
Uh, I guess I will. If that's the case, yeah. Can you imagine a box set for Shadespire Man. with the terrain and two warbands that it's haven't gonna, been revealed yet? Man, if they did a Shadespire setting and like like kill team style like setting box or whatever, uh huh. Yeah. And then, of course, you could use that for any AOS game. Oh, absolutely. Because that's, that's now yep. the AOS design setting. Yep. All right. I'm, I'm just... I guess I feel like I need to go big in here. I will say then um, that along with Shadespire, there's going to be... No, I guess I'll go with the a box Shadespire skirmish okay. starter box with terrain in it. All right. Man, I'm a believer. I hope, man. And I don't think they should go back to more time. I don't think that that name can work anymore. It shouldn't. That's one where I would say it shouldn't. Um, and I'm, I think Shades, and I, met, I was talking about that on the episode that we recorded, is that Shadespire is the more time of this setting. It's where this big catastrophe happened, yeah. and it's where people are going to find treasure. Oh, man. that's. Do you want to hear something kind of cool from the old Mordheim that you probably never knew? No, yeah, I do. There was this big evil bad war guy that was in the middle of what's called the pit. Okay. Who was the big bad evil warlord over all of Mordheim, and he watched over everything and manipulated everything. I didn't know about that guy. Yeah. And now it's Nagash. And now it's Nagash. Oh, man. It fits. All right. If that's not going to happen, then... We're going to be sad. We're going to be sad. Everyone else is going to be sad. I mean, we just made this really bold prediction yeah. about something that's going to happen I mean, maybe, next maybe month. Maybe somebody else. I think, You're all going to... like. This think is going to be that, immediate retribution. Here's, yeah, here's the thing. Is if next <laughs> month they're talking about, we're talking about skirmish, and it's just like a couple of scenarios, I feel like this one's in the toilet. All right. More subtle machinations. Here, I think, should we go to any new factions, or should we go... Let's, let's talk about or do you go. I mean, I th- I think separate from that is there's going to be a new Stormcast. Faction. Yeah. So, All right. What, so we'll do Stormcast faction first. Do you want? Why don't you start talk, sharing some ideas? Do I need to look up what the latest chambers that are still locked are? Sure, we can start with that. That's that'd probably be a good thing to start with. Yeah. Um. So we think that there's going to be another chamber opened. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Every right. year we've got a new chamber. All right. If there's going to be this another... Past year was Sacrosanct. The time yeah. before that, it was Vanguard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, so you're saying there's a pattern to these things. I'm saying the only pattern that exists in Age of Sigmar <laughs> is we get a Stormcast release every year. All right. Um, let's see here. Well, didn't we get two in one year? Because we got the um, the Dracolines, but we also got the Draco- Dracoliths. So we got the extremist chamber. We got the normal chamber. We got the extremist chamber. Yep. We got the vanguard chamber. We got the sacrosanct chamber. Different years. So 2015 was the normal chamber. And okay. then in the beginning of 2016, we got the um, extremist chamber. Okay. 2017, we got the vanguard chamber. Uh-huh. 2018, we got the sacrosanct chamber. Yeah. Okay. So 2019. So the, the moon clan chamber is what we're getting in 2019, right? Is that well, so, yeah. So vanguard were versus some Nurgle. Oh, our man. I How awesome this. would it be if the Moon Clan were strong enough to take on Stormcast? If what were? Moon Clan. Well, you know, there's this there's this idea in my head where you've got this very ordered, mm-hmm. and then this very, like, what the heck? Like, how are they possibly... Like, and there was, I mean, there was stories of, like, Spider Fang chasing off Everchosen, right? Yep. Um, so, all right. So we've got... Whew. Corpus Saint Conclave. So this is the Sacrosanct Chamber. Okay, yep. we've got this one. This is the Corpus Saint Conclave, the Redeemer Conclave, the Justicar Conclave, and the Ordinator. Okay, we got that. Um, Exemplar Chamber. So the unopened Lord are the Ruination oh, yeah, yeah. Chamber. Oh yeah, yeah. Chamber, the Covenant Chamber, the Logister Chamber. Ah, uh, that yeah. <laughs> and the Harbinger Chamber. Extremist chamber. We've already seen that. Yep. The Angelos Conclave. Uh, so those the are Vanguard and well, Iliary Auxiliary Chamber. Got it. And Auxiliary Chamber, I think, is the um, bolt throwers. I think. So we've got five opened. Yeah, I mean, so some of them fit in there. So some of them are, yeah, the Sacrosanct Chamber, Exemplar Chamber is Lord is like some of your heroes. Warrior Chamber is um, Lord Selston, Lord Relictor. Uh, or no, there's a Lord Selson, Lord Relictor for each of those. Harbingers. 
Oh, man, if I can read it. This is not interesting. <laughs> they all have, yeah. So I feel like those are just your regular. Warrior chambers are like are, are pretty regular. Um, they talk about these as being like, I think these are like battalions you can take. Yeah. So Vanguard Auxiliary is is the one that came out last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Extremists has come out. Uh, Sacrosanct. And they reorder this thing every time. <laughs> uh, I think if we went back to the very first one, some of these wouldn't be in there probably. So they yeah. can keep coming up with them. But we've got Ruination Chamber. Yep. We've got Covenant Chamber, and we've got Logister Chamber. Covenant Chamber. That kind of sounds like that would work really well with the Devoted of Sigmar. That does seem Wasn't like it'd it would be a very Didn't religious... It? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I would like to see the Lord Ordinator expanded upon. Um, But I don't know that... I don't think they will. I know. I think they, they move on. Because mm-hmm. we got like they two or three that. Lord Ordinators in that release. You got the main guy, you got a second one, mm-hmm. and then you got some dudes with the uh, with the um, bolt thrower things. Yeah, but what I mean is just like a, a rank and file for the ordinat- for the ordinators. Yeah. Right? Just like builders. Yeah. What do you think Ruination Chamber is? What spells Ruination to you? Uh, like the Avenging Tanks. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more thinking like throwing lightning around hmm. like just devastation it's the all right let's put it this way it's the exterminate command right right exterminatus command that's the ruination chamber yeah it's the scour the earth salt the fields leave no witnesses interesting that's what that says to me that's if you know the if the if those um electric ghasts escape then lightning guys i mean this the yeah the sacrosanct are the ones who keep them at bay would say that that doesn't work yeah the ruination ca- chamber has to come and nuke a place yep oh man and then the logister oh, chamber logister chambers i mean i don't know the administrators i think there's i think those are humans so covenant let's i think it feels like covenant chamber it feels like covenant the, chamber is the one i can wrap my head around I mean, Ruination Chamber sounds awesome. It does, but I don't know what form that takes because we've already got some some really tough cookies. But the Covenant Chamber would make sense to me if you were having a chamber that's duty is to inspire mortals. Right. Right? I think with the Dark Oath... Uh, The church, it starts, yeah, reinforcing the Church of Sigmar. With the Dark Oath coming out, I could see the Covenant Chamber being released to reinforce... The mortals of the realms do we to think, fight against the Dark Do we Oath. think the Covenant Chamber is the devoted? Like, is the humans? Well, and I the Church so. of? You think it has to be just Stormcast? I think I think there's at least Stormcast leaders. Sure. I would assume that there's also Stormcast rank and file. Yeah. But I would see them as, like, the penitents or, you these know. Are, these are the war priests of... I mean, we, yeah. who do we have? Don't we have, like, a... Yeah, in a, Warhammer Quest. Yeah. No... We got a warrior priest and a griffon. No, no, I mean uh, a Stormcast guy who's like reading a book. And isn't there a guy who's like a... We got a guy holding rosary beads or whatever as well. Prayer yeah, beads. Yep, yep. Um, so... Line, are, we, are we both saying Covenant Chamber? Yeah, I think we're going to say Covenant Chamber is opening up this year. All right. I, Oath? Yeah. Covenant? Dark Oath? Yeah. Covenant? It, like, it seems like a good pairing. All right. And they usually combat the threat that has just been revealed. Yeah. Oh, man. Moon, so we got, but, yeah. But even Moon Clan are about the darkness. They're about the moon. So the Covenant Chamber would bring the light of All right. Sigmar. All right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going the to sun. Covenant. All right. So Covenant Chamber, anything. Mm-hmm. And so, so some sort of Stormcast War Priest. I mean, are are the um, decimators and and tempesters and those those guys riding dracoliths, uh huh, or dracoths? Are those guys kind of like paladins or war priests? I mean, everyone's kind of paladinish, but I think specifically a, a war priest. I'm imagining more of like a retributor. Yeah, I mean, general. I, you know, like more of just. I don't know. I don't have a good. Yeah. I don't have good imagination when it comes to the storm stormcast. I mean, yeah, each one. I mean, even that they would have robes seemed super weird, uh, yeah. and like unexpected. 
Um, I mean, like more of a Dark Angels type if they've got hoods on, right? That would be a simple, easy design element that would really reinforce that. Yep. That would Um, look awesome. All right. Any? I'm going with they'll have hoods. Done. (laughs) Hoods. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to find this guy. Stormcast Eternal Lord Exorcist. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a very he's a new one. Priest-like. Um, yeah. Could easily be a good design choice moving forward. But it's very anti-death magic kind of that yeah. exorcist kind of thing. So I think maybe he's in the the priesthood. Mm-hmm. But we could see some design the elements. Relictors of a priest. Yeah. But right? he's also got... Um, for lack of a better word, a stole yep. that he's wearing around his neck. Yep. Right? That could easily be a design element that goes forward. Yep. Bigger hats. Bigger hats. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is your hat, sir? I mean, he's basically got a papal hat going on right now, it's anyway. It's pretty close, yep. It's, it's, got, it's the, got the shape. Yeah, it's the, got the, the shape. And and the, the, yeah. All right. Anyway. I'm going to go with a uh, a priestly leader. All right. But I also think some sort of like. Going back to hammers, war hammers, yeah, for a, a, a war priest style foot right. troop. Sounds good. All right, then we're just it, part of the the machinations is um, new faction. Mm-hmm. So, what new faction is coming out of p- potentially out of the blue? So, the, well, I think shoot the moon is out of the blue. Sure. Well, subtle machinations be- is more of just like. Sure, sure. What I would say is that Shoot the Moon is anything. I would keep armies here. Oh, I, really? Okay. All right. Well, then my uh, my, uh, my army has to go under subtle machinations. I mean, do you... So, like, we know... Like, so... <sighs> Slanesh is getting released. Yeah, that, that seems pretty obvious. Tyrion Moon and Teclis. Definitely, yep. So it seems like something... Uh, Shadow Elves, we've got... Um, the Mist Weaver, and we've got the mm-hmm. um, Ten Albrol Shard. Yep. Um, and then we've got whatever uh, Teclis did next after screwing up the Ideneth. Yep. Uh, what did look at the other, yeah. So those are light elves. So we've got three elvish gods, and these are actual elvish gods now that do not have any army. And we've yep. got Marathi already, yep. who's not an elvish god. No. She's an elf. She's, She's an elf. She's an elvish demigod. Yeah. Want a god? She's more like the. She's tougher than the um, vermin god. lords. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So we got. It feels like we have to see one of those unless we get them all at once next year in 2020. Do you, so you think this is the year of the elves? Is that what you're saying? Well, see, here's what we've done. We've packed it with Slanesh Moon Clan. Uh huh. Last year, last year we got Nurgle, we got Ideneth, we got um, Sacrosanct. Yeah. And we got Night Haunt. And we got Beastmen. Uh, Beastman was just kind of a repackage. Yeah, but we got it. Uh, but I mean, and we got Legions and Agash. Um, so, but we've got four new armies, and we've got two old armies. Um, so, uh, right now, Moon Clan is taking up one of those slots. If they do four again, again, but they're they're, they're a redone army. Yeah, but they're getting new models. Yeah, so, but they're a redone army, so they're not a brand new army. Nurgle was not a brand new army. Yep, so they're a redone army. So, but Ideneth were a new army. Yep. So, I think you're making a distinction where we don't need to yet. Okay. So if we got four uh-huh. new release, new book, new models, uh-huh. um, then we got, right now we're saying Moon Clan is like that. We're saying yep. Dark Oath is like that. Yep. So that could be one of ours here. Slanesh is like that. Yep. Um, and then now we're, we've are we we've hinted at, um, well, so what did we say? Moon Clan, Dark Oath, Slanesh, and um, we just said it with the with the Stormcast. Sacred Saints. Nope. The... Um, <laughs> what was the name of it? Did you write it down? The Covenant Chamber. Oh, the Covenant Chamber, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, have we filled those slots? Is there room for oh, one matter. more elf? Uh, I mean, <laughs> do you want do you want to get points? I'm I'm a little worried that there's not room for elves. Oh, there has, I think there has to be at least one elf. So then out. I think we probably have to take out. I feel like we're gonna take out one of the. Oh, I ain't doing that. Uh, maybe we don't. Get... I put a lot of work into these <laughs> predictions. A lot. Of right, brain so power. Do you think, so if we've already got four brand like new armies, new, so they're old themes with uh-huh. new stuff. Yeah, you're right. I think there has to be one brand new. It has army. to be one just brand new out of nothing. Every. 
is just, but the other thing is, you're also assuming that because we got six armies last year, we're getting six armies this year. And because this was I'm the not, pattern of last I'm, year? No, no. I'm saying we got four new model releases. Yeah. And we got additional not new model released armies. Yeah, so we okay. got six, but only four of them were new models. Yeah. I don't think we're getting six new model armies. Why not? Because I don't think that people are, are going to spend that much. I don't think that's in the plan. But do you think the miniatures designers want to design the stuff that much? Um, well, so I think that is definitely a, so they've hired a lot. So I think that there's certainly room to have all that designed, but again, it's, it's not a designer's choice on when they get released. Right. I think there's room for it. All right. All right. Just flat out. Is there room for three more elf armies? It depends on how they do it. All right. The, the reason I say that is because <laughs> I think there's rooms for a few more human armies. All right. But it depends on how they do it. So, in theory, yeah. let me throw this out to you. Tyrion Teclis is one army. So, I'll buy it. And then uh, Malarion is the other army. We got light and dark. I don't buy that, but... Okay. Because do, Tyr- do you think Tyrion's smart enough to make an army? We already made one. <laughs> no, Teclis did. Okay. Yes, I think Tyrion is smart enough to make an army. He just wants a flaming sword to swing around. He doesn't care about having it, making a new... Image, uh, yeah, but people. that was that was in the world that was. He's grown, man. All right, he's grown. He's got feelings. He's got emotions so, now. So we've got we've certainly seen more um, shadow, elves, yeah. right? Uh huh. Smoky elves, yeah. if you will. Um, do you have any thoughts on on high uh, on the light elves? Um, angels. <laughs> that's the go to for everybody. I, I like. <laughs> Light just, knowledge, and I think you need you need an air army. What if this is really like out of left field? What if the Covenant Chamber, okay, is Tyrion's army, and they're Stormcast elves? Oh, weird. They're heavily armored. They're gonna fight. They're gonna be stronger than any other elf. I don't. I don't know if it plays enough to having. Because I, I think elves are, I mean, I think you could tell us stories about there being elf, oh, yeah. elf stormcast. That's fair. All right. Um, what else? I mean, we've, so there's three elf gods. Yeah. Two to three elf armies. Yeah. We've already got four. Um, in terms of re, do you think that in terms of, instead of, if we take a sidestep, not to new factions, but old armies get reinvigorated, is there anything that? Float your boat. Old armies that get reinvigorated. We've already done Mathlan, which is why we have Iden Neff. So well, it's not mixed. I mean like like Beastkin, like or sorry, like Beastmen and like Nagash. Where the oh, new I models just, just new book to re- reinvigorate them or to Um I mean we could easily do a new free guild like we could do a free guild book and do it proper. Yeah. I think I would, I would be sad if they did that without new models. But those are the newest models. They have the most consistent new range. Yeah. They all fit together. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just the most old world, though, too. They are. But um, you can fix that with head yep. swaps. So there's I mean, that. That'd be, an easy, that'd be an easy one. Then what else? Um, you could also do a relatively easy um, devoted... We already have flagellants. We already have warrior priests. We already have war altars. We don't have enough in that range to be a, its own thing. I think it would have to get tucked in with free guild. It depends on how they design it. Yeah, but I mean, maybe if they did, but there's, there's a sigmar. There's, but there's well, but that's new models. So that's that would agree with me in saying that they would need new models. Yeah. So I could. So in terms of reinvigorating. Stuff that's old that has enough models to I mean, turn it into something. Moon Clan. I think Skaven could get a book that just pulls all their Skaven stuff together without new models because they got some new models in the end times. So I'm not too worried about them getting new models. Vince hates you right now. Well, that's fine. But M- Moon I mean, Clan could just be a new book. It literally could. It could be. They do have a decent enough range as it is. I mean, it's a very fully fleshed out, it's fully got functioning lot, yeah, army. It's got a lot of stuff in There's it. There's absolutely no question about that. You're right. Moonplane could not be a not new model army. Spider Fang could be a not new model army. 
So would they do a Spider Fang book though? They could easily do a couple of small distinctions and make it, make it work. Yeah. They already have three kits. The Ragnarok could easily be broken out into a couple of different other options. Yep. Um, they could just give different names to the Spider Rider kit and give different options for the gigantic spider and that's pretty much yeah. it. it. I feel like seem fun, I feel but. like they would have written new stuff for them already if they wanted if they could do that. Like they don't have that many ways to build them out. Yeah. I mean um, like, obviously it'd be nice to have a new kit, but um what else is there? I mean like a new Slaves of Darkness book. That'd be real simple, low hanging yeah. fruit. But to do Slaves of Darkness and Dark Oath. Maybe Dark Oath are just going to be part of a new leaders to Slaves of Darkness. I don't see that, but that's, I could see that. Like I, I personally don't see that, but I could see them doing oh, that. Yeah. I'm just trying to do the math where I think there's a, there is a limitation on how much new product they can put out in this yeah. year for Age of Sigmar. Jordan. Um, so yeah, a Dispossessed book. Yeah. That'd or be... all the, do you think they'd put all the Warden together? Fire Slayers, Dispossessed, and KO? I don't see that. Okay. So, if Fire Slayers already have a book, KO already have a book, why would you lump they them put, in? They put Iron, uh, the Iron World Arsenal is wi- is st- still kind of free guildish, though. Well, and they have dwarves. Like, that could be yeah, an yeah, interesting so, book. So, they made that into an dwarf, actual dispossessed? army. Dispossessed? Just free guild being, including dispossessed in some of the elf factions, maybe? That could be interesting. Yeah. Like, free, um, a combined, like the, the armies of Azir. Mm hmm. That would be interesting, because that could be an interesting, like, historic marker like here's them uh-huh. that would allow them to then take anything that doesn't get included in that and that might be new armies material I mean they could do um, the uh, Sea Guard army yeah I mean there's room for like a, a, a Phoenix well, army like, expansion there's but there's room. enough models in the Sea Guard army to make an army because there's horses and there's they've got horses archers. they've got foot troops they've got the flying chariots um, they've got several different, yeah, the, 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 the sky, sky cutters. cutters. They've got several different oh, loadout sorry. options. They've got a normal one. They've got a bolt yep. cutter, one, bolt thrower one, and they've got a hero one. Yeah. Um, they have a hero on foot. Yep. Like, and that could easily be. So there could be a armies of Azir. Mm-hmm. They could go in with an armies of Azir pretty easily, but you're saying they could also be a sea guard, their own thing. Yeah. Phoenix, I feel like sh- would get wrapped into a tech or well, a Tyrian army. They could do a sea guard army and do the. Old Dark Elf Corsairs and the Sea Guard. Oh, right, right. So the, yeah, because the Sea Guard are more like the army, more like privateers, and the Corsairs are more like pirates. Yep. In the lore, the the Corsairs are pretty independent. Yeah. But that'd be cool to build that army up. But, um, all right. So let's, let's break this. So, uh, subtle machinations in terms of existing armies just kind of getting a book to consolidate. Where would you predict? Where would you go? I'd go with Free Guild. And, okay. So pull the Free Guild together. Yeah. I'm going to go Skaven. All right. I'm going to say Skaven's going to get a book that just kind of pulls it all together, lets you play play them together with more battalions and that sort of stuff, separate from Chaos. Vince hates you right now. That's all right. I have a, he's, there's other th- reasons he loves me, <laughs> so they probably balance out. I'm going to say they're just going to get a consolidation this year. All right. With what they got, they could still come out with something different next year. Mm-hmm. Um, but from what I've heard, they they don't play as separate little factions right now. Yeah. Not really. Anyway. Um, all right. So, any other consolidation one, predictions you want to make? Not really. That's not all that interesting to me. No. All right. We get it, we get it then, next grade, but a new faction. Yeah. It's not Stormcast, uh-huh. and this is not a consolidation. Meaning, it's going to get a new book. It's going to get new models. Yeah. Um, and it's not Moon. We've already said that Moon Clan, Dark Oath, and Slanesh are those. So this one's like, what is it? Free people. Not free guild. Free people. All right, you're losing me right away on that distinction between those two. Do you, so, would you call it? So I would give you that if it was Armies of Zir uh-huh. is the book, is the consolidation. Yep. And free guild is this brand new thing. Uh, free free pe- people would be Army of Native Realms. Warriors okay. banding together under other armies, like we've seen in the books. So, so like an action. So unit. you're saying a, a human release that can be adapted to its different environments. Yes. 
say three or four kits. Interesting. Where it's a dual kit, so you have an Akshi kit. Yeah. Where they have a couple different loadouts. Even possibly one of them becomes a character. Um, same thing with the Gur kit. Same thing um, with uh, Life. But you you make a couple kits representing models from a specific realm. They've already done the artwork for a bunch of that stuff. Okay. That could easily like that would be an easy thing to do. That you could drop in new realms as you go through them, yeah. and just drop down a shaman kit. If yeah. you want a shaman army, here's your kit. Here's all the shaman bits. Here's yeah. the shaman look. Here's a hero. Here's this, and here's how you build a free people army. Yeah. And if you want to combine them, here are the rules for combining them. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, they've already got realm rules. Yep. They would just need realm allegiance abilities. Yep. Um, and it would be great to be able to yeah to take those and be to like. Have it embedded that they are fla- add your flavor. Yep. You know seasoning required. Exactly. Um, and they would have yeah some some things to to blend them or it could, you know it could be mixed etc. But because that's basically what Chris Peach has done with his army. Sure. Right. He's so he's then we're talking there being an army of Azir and then there's potential the new thing you're saying would be armies of the realm. Yeah. So like army, army of Akshi. three people of the realms. Yep. That's interesting. I could cool. see that being something that somebody would get really excited to design. Yeah. Right? I'm going to make an Axian regiment. Yeah. Um, with a multi-part kit, you could have a lot of different options to be able to assemble them. Yeah. Um, and you could play them with Stormcast. You could play them yeah. without Stormcast. Yep. Like, it, it it would be very AOS. Yeah. It would look really cool, and it would yep. be super themey. Yeah. So the thing I like about it too is that I'm kind of I've kind of in a place where I don't know that they're going to do elves this year. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of in a place where oh, Gutbusters would be a nice one to consolidate as well if I were to go that route. But what did I say for consolidate? I said Skaven. You said Skaven. Man, um, you do both. No, I don't think they're going to give it a Gutbuster book. They, and they keep mentioning mentioning fire bellies by themselves too. They do. Hmm. Um, for me, brand new army that that we've not thought about that we're trying to see beyond our peripheral. Yeah, like it's hard to just sit here and like it's like that whole like uh, weeping angels thing. Like yep. you want to catch them in the act, but you can't because every time you look, it, they stop. Uh, that's a Doctor Who reference for anybody. Um, I want to go. So we've. Just looking at patterns, we did elves last year. We did. Uh, I know that the shard and the are there, but I don't think we have room to do elves this year. I think that there is going to be if it's those ones in Stormcast, and that would the Moon Clan, Dark Oath, Slanesh, and Stormcast. That's our four new armies. So I'm I'm gonna bet that we're wrong on one of those being a new army, and maybe like the Dark Oath don't get anything this year, and maybe. We've gotten Earth Tunnelers with Fire Slayers. We've gotten Flyers with KO. We've um, gotten Water. We've gotten Water with, with Ideneth. We don't have Fire. We don't have Fire. No, we do Fire, fire well, Slayers. I guess we do. Have. It's kind of, well, so they're Fire. They're not Earth. Yeah. So maybe something... We need Earth. Maybe some, is our Moon Clan Earth, though? Kind of earthy? I mean, especially with the Stalagmite. It seems like they're kind of going that route, but they're more Cave. Right. Than Earth. Man, I feel like I'm blanking here. I feel like the easy answer would be to go with uh, an elven faction. Or the easy kind of way to be thinking is elven faction. I just don't think we... So if we if one of those that we've mentioned is actually not going to be a new army, then I'm going to say we're going to get oh, shadow elves. All right. Man, I don't believe it, though. But I'm stalling here. and This is not interesting radio hitting me going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can guess nothing. I don't. Th- I think we've named them all. I think we've named uh, Moon Clan, Dark Oath, Slanesh, and um, and Stormcast. Right. I don't think there's room for a surprise us army. Okay. But then they're going to surprise us with something. Yeah. I'm going to say not not what you said. I'm going to say dis dis uh, devoted of Sigmar. I think right. that if they're going to come out with Covenant and that they were to come out with something brand new. Dispossessed, um, a different like they'd go bigger with the whole like Church of Sigmar and like cultish 
type stuff and it may be being not good but anyway that's what I'm going to do I don't know what else I can't it's hurting my brain because we've gone through all these and I'm I feel like there's too many walls that have already been like set up with if we if this is true if this is true and this is true and we're confident that it's close this one's harder I like that you're that confident in all your choices because no, I'm not that confident I'm more in all confident my in I think the Moon Clan Dark Oath and Slanesh and Stormcast are everyone else's choices I think those are the easy I mean that's the low hanging fruit that I'm yeah anyway all right so anything I'm, else on the subtle machinations I'm gonna go crazy and say okay. we're gonna get a geomancer army so manipulate now, the earth earth okay is it human is it no, Dwarden? It's not human. Is it Dwarden? No. It's not Dwarden. I mean, it'd be fan- Dwarden would be fantastic. We've got, again, if we go with those Earth. Yeah, but that'd be really predictable. That's true. I mean, we could do Elven. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the so Sylvan F are kind of the Earth Elves. Well, they're not Elves. Yeah, are they, though? No. Aren't they, though? No. I mean, aren't they, though? No. <laughs> you've already. Because you've got the dudes with the Elf spirits in them. What if they do, like, Crystal. Crystalline? Halflings. Oh, my halflings? Oh, you're a nutter. You're a nutter. I'm going with crystal halflings. All right, maybe Geomancer, that, does, crystal maybe that halflings. does need to be shoot the moon, because I don't know where you're getting that craziness. I don't have any other new faction devoted. If it if it were elves, and we've got a couple predictable patterns, if it were, if it were Dwarden, I would say, like, um, Dwarden monks. Like super, like so, like devoted but dwarven. Yeah, but no, that doesn't work. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm trying to think where else we could. Oh, no, I don't got it. I feel like we 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 there's got to be something still in like up in up in Azir, up in the heavens that we don't know about. That's you know the Seraphon are there. Um, yeah, but anyway. All right, you got anything else for... It'd be a book that we could get a Seraphon, another Seraphon book. Maybe. Um, do you want to put... Are you putting points on that? No. Okay. Anything else in the subtle machinations? Or do you want to shoot the moon? Uh, I, th- I think we're done with subtle machinations. All right, now we're on the shoot the moon. This one is worth 50 points. If we get it right. Yeah. Like, If you get it right, it's worth 50 points. If we get it wrong, it's like minus 25. But, oh man, I mean, there are like, some things that that are just kind of given. No, are like things that they've done that you didn't. What What are some things that they've done that you didn't expect? Like Shade Spire is one that I didn't expect. Like yeah. the Underworlds game. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been coming out with a bunch of video games uh, or mobile games that are a lot of fun, from Champions to Realm at War. Um, even the yeah. Hero Quest. Well, if you would have told me last week, an animated 40K cartoon yeah. show. So you're thinking, yeah, I mean, we can definitely go to the other media. But. Um, I mean, they've got comic book, or they've got comic strips. They've got um, Warhammer TV's got a new studio. Three um, studios. Uh, well, with multiple segments. I know. Um, and so that means that they could be wheeling up for for more stuff there, or are definitely wheeling up for some more stuff there. What are um? What are is there anything else that has utterly surprised you in terms of releases or? Um, I mean, I don't know. In general, yeah, like the whole bringing up new armies completely. Yeah. Um. I mean, bringing back um, Grimnir, not Grimnir, bringing back... Gotrek and Felix? Gotrek. Or Gotrek, at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even, like, the kids' books, and then... Yep. This is a hard category, because it could yeah, I mean, be anything. This is, I mean, this is... Do you feel like you've got enough... I mean, the obvious to me would be a golden demon in the U.S., Okay. Uh, have they? Because yeah, I mean, I, I've heard Vince and on one <coughs> talk about they, they, have, it, they yeah. haven't named it. They haven't nope. said it's going to be here, but 
something's going like to be happening. Something could be happening. It could yeah. be Golden Demon. Uh, <laughs> so it's a for if you don't know, it's a painting competition uh, that's been held on at Warhammer World and on uh, game days or what is there big days where they it used to be on game day when game day was an official title. Now it's what are they Warhammer Fest? Yeah, but I think they've taken those off of their Warhammer Fest schedule. Or something. I don't know. They've combined it down into one. It used to have individual, so it would be like a Space Marine or a 40K or a okay. Leaders, and now it's just back to the classic okay. Golden Demon format. In so maybe we'll do something like that here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that they're going to try and get a Netflix show. <laughs> All right. I think that that is a... like. The whole like like MCU, uh-huh. um, the DC universe, yep. going to private streaming. Yep. I feel like they have an IP mm-hmm. that is warming up. Like it's it's somebody told me uh, was talking to me in terms of like like Wizards of the Coast is one big company in this space. Games Workshop is the other big company in this space. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, so, and you talked about the animated thing. Yeah, like I feel like there's got to be some room somewhere for like netflix to in and there's these companies that are looking for content i feel like there might be some sort of netflix um 40k or age of sigmar crossover or like some show on netflix or netflix netflix original Mm -hmm. but with something in the games workshops ip okay (laughs) that doesn't excite you because do you watch much netflix no no what it would mean for the company, though, is that they're getting in, they're closer to like movies or yeah. like being in theaters or you know that sort of thing, which some people I think would go crazy over, yeah. and they'd complain about. Oh, of course, they always <laughs> complain. All right, is there anything else that you want to? Golden Demon is your fifty pointer. I don't think that's worth fifty points. What would you put it at? Oh, I don't know. Twenty five. And that seems more likely. It's just kind of a. Standard thing. I don't know. I'm going to say 20. I'll put mine on a 2019, like, big media Netflix type thing. Okay. I don't really know. Don't got anything? I mean, this is where I thought you were going to shine. This is where you were going to redeem yourself. Yeah, but you said if it was an army, it had to go into subtle oh. machinations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my free people's army okay. was under Shoot the Moon originally. I see, I see. You thought you were. Okay, I see what you're saying. And the same thing with the Geomancer halflings. I would put that in the shoot the moon. All right. Okay. Is there is there anything? I mean, I don't think you're coming. You're not. Ju- no. There's no jumping off point for this. No, there's no jumping off point whatsoever. <laughs> it is. All right. I'll put that under shoot the moon. You can put that under shoot the moon. So, Geomancer uh-huh. Halflings. Yeah. Is your shoot the moon for fifty yeah. points? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think we're each guaranteed to lose twenty five. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, do you want to try and recap any of these, or we'll 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 put it out there? So look for um, that's going to take us to the end of this show. Um, we're going to put a recap of these with the points. Um, we're going to put it into some sort of graphic. Maybe you'll see if I if I've created it, you'll maybe see it at the end of this bef- uh, when this posts on YouTube. If you're listening to this on a podcast um, app, then go to YouTube, or you'll likely see it on uh, Twitter as we uh, release and and that sort of thing. So. Um, so, Check it out there. Um, give us feedback mm-hmm. on what our uh, – so what we're probably going to do is we'll add up these points and say, hey, you've you've wagered, you've speculated you know, X number of points of things. I've speculated X number of points of things. We'll put those up. Um, and we're going to be aiming for a percentage. Mm-hmm. So 50% I think would be pretty amazing. Yeah. Although I know we've got – we try to point ourselves low on some of these, these uh, you know, low-hanging fruit. So – Hopefully, fifty percent would still include some really good, you know, choice stuff here. Uh, so, if we get above fifty percent, I think we're doing good. Mm-hmm. If we get below fifty percent, then I think we're starting to see some some negatives. Yep. Um, and we want your ideas on what those negatives might be. Uh, December ice bucket challenge, something in that vein, uh, and uh, we'll we'll evaluate mm-hmm. and we'll see. You could, and if we don't pick something great, you can call us out for it on it. But uh, but yeah. We'll see what's going on. And this is our first episode. So going forward, we won't be doing quite the same 
We're not going to be predicting doing like, 2019 yeah, every episode. Every episode. Like, that, that's not going to work no. out very well. Um, and so this is, this is the scrying phase. It is separate from our story phase. It's separate from the campaign phase. Um, we, this may be monthly. We're likely going to be trying to record when new releases come out. So we can talk about what the, what's cool about them, what we like about them, what we don't like about them. How wrong we were. Yeah, how we would turn them inside out. Uh, yeah, and we'll probably be keeping a tally along the way. So if you want to follow along, see how we're doing, listen to those episodes as well. Um, anything else? That's all I got. All right. It is time for our reforging. We'd really appreciate it. If you took the time to give us a review on iTunes, like and subscribe to this channel on uh, YouTube, um, and uh, you know wherever you listen to us, watch us, and then follow us on Twitter, at The Mortal Realms. Paul, where can they find you? At PJ Shard. And you can find me at Stone Monk Gamer, and you can find out more content, uh, listen to all of our shows, see um, my blog posts, um, on the, my hobby, and uh, on you can listen to uh, What the Hex, uh, Davies Shadespire uh, cast um, by going to themortalrealms.com, updating often. Uh, thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.